On one hand, this speaks to the societal change of empowering victims, right? One of Jufri's lawyers called it a victory for all survivors. On the other hand, critics say another wealthy man has gotten away without directly admitting guilt. Help us put this into some context. Well, I think both of those things are true. Um, and one thing I would point to is, uh, you know, while I don't know the exact amount uh, of the settlement, uh, you know, there are rumors floating around that we're talking about anywhere from seven and a half million pounds to 10 to 12 million pounds. So we're talking about $10 million plus. Um, one settlement that was made public in this case was Jufre's 2009 settlement with Jeffrey Epstein that was for $500,000. So the, the settlement, the fact that the settlement is many, many multiples higher speaks to the credibility of the victims. Uh, remember, prosecutors in Southern Florida declined to put uh, victims on the stand like Jufre when they first investigated Jeffrey Epstein because of concerns about their credibility. And I think the size of this settlement, uh, you know, if, it's, if it is in fact that high, and the recent conviction of Ghislaine Maxwell speaks to the fact that, you know, these women's voices are, are, are being believed and being taken very seriously, um, particularly when you contrast it to, um, to the original settlement, you know, more than a decade ago. So that is a significant, uh, significant impact. Although certainly, you know, the public and, and other victims would have liked to have learned more um, about uh, about Prince Andrew uh, in this case and about the allegations. Yeah, and Kira, I mean, if you literally look at the case, it was that photo, right, of the prince and Jufre that came in many ways to symbolize the larger story. What else can you tell us about this settlement and what's being said about it across the pond? Well, Chris, uh, one thing you can say about the British tabloid press, uh, and many people don't like them, but they will keep pushing on this. And so just to show you some of the front pages of the newspapers here, they have different reports on how much money exactly it is. The uh, Daily Mail has £10 million pound humiliation. Uh, another newspaper, The Mirror, £12 million deal to, hilt, to halt sex claim. Uh, the Sun newspaper, and all of the newspapers agree on this, uh, Chris, describes it as Prince Andrew's final disgrace. So clearly there are two aspects to this. One is the legal side, and there are many, many details we don't know at this stage. And then there is the reputational side. Uh, and there is a lot of conversation here, a lot of talk about why was it that this all suddenly appeared to change? Prince Andrew appeared to be prepared to go to court there in New York. Suddenly, that isn't the case anymore. Some suggesting it is the Queen inside Buckingham Palace there who just wasn't prepared to see the kind of damage that a court case like that uh, would bring uh, to the royal family. There is even talk that the Queen may have used some of her private funds in order to uh, reach this settlement, but that itself uh, will be uh, controversial. Look, I mean, Prince Andrew, in, in that statement, uh, he doesn't... Uh, admit anything, but neither has he cleared his name, as he has again and again said uh, that he has wanted to. Uh, and there seems little doubt, frankly, on this side of the pond, uh, that this, for Prince Andrew, in terms of his status within the royal family, uh, he's pretty much done. Wow. So obviously, Prince Andrew was one of the most high profile names in this, Ben. But what about the other people in Jeffrey Epstein's sphere? Ghislaine Maxwell, obviously already a convicted child sex trafficker. But could this mean anything to empowering other victims and prosecutors to move forward against some of these other folks who have been named? Well, absolutely, because I think, you know, the legal system is all based on precedent. And, uh, and for lawyers to take up these cases, it's a, it's a commitment of time and resources. And so seeing a result like this, uh, a settlement, even if it didn't go to trial, uh, and seeing certainly Ghislaine Maxwell's conviction um, has to have lawyers and other victims feeling like they, they may get a fair shot if they do take this, uh, if they do take this to court. So I would not be surprised to see additional lawsuits against some of the many high profile men who have been linked to Jeffrey Epstein and who have been you know, alleged to have abused uh, women like Jufre and, and other victims.